why am I even talking about this? Like, why? It's It's been debunked. It's been debunked by everyone. Why am I talking about this? Uh, well, I mean, there are still people who bring it up and think that it's actually a true thing. Think that the pay gap exists for the reasons they think it exists. Um, it doesn't. I'm going to talk about that. But actually, does the pay gap exist is a bad question. A better question is, why does it keep getting brought up? But first, welcome or welcome back everyone. Uh, welcome to my channel, my name is Andrew. Uh, I am probably preaching to the choir as the saying goes. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming that if you're watching this video you know that the pay gap doesn't exist already because uh, why would you watch, why, why would people today watch anything that would increase their knowledge or counter what they believe in? God forbid, right? Okay, so I'm going to reward you guys. Normally what I would do is I would thoroughly debunk the pay gap, which I'm going to, and then I would talk about why I think it's still part of the narrative. I'm going to do the narrative part first. If you know that the pay gap doesn't exist, if you know the the the, the flaws in the original study, if you know the choices that women are making that cause them to be paid less, you you know you know this stuff. I, I doubt very much that I'm going to say anything that you don't already know. So I'm going to talk about the narrative first to re to just to reward those people. Um, that way they don't have to watch a full move, uh, a full video and uh, only get something from the last probably minute and a half of the video. So, okay. Why is this constantly brought up? The big gap has been debunked. It's been debunked thoroughly but at this point. Um, so who's bringing it back up? Well, I think it's two groups that are bringing it back up. Um, the first group I would say would be an average person, uh, an average woman usually. Um, and they've heard this idea of a pay gap from somewhere. Someone has told them, they've, they've heard it online, they've seen it in the news, whatever, whatever. And they have chosen to do absolutely no research in it whatsoever. Uh, a lot of people are like that today. They just hear something and assume it's true. Um, uh, personally, if, if, if someone tells me something, even if I trust that person implicitly, before I talk about that topic, I'm going to do all the research I can. I'm going to try and debunk it. I'm going to try and counter it. I'm going to see what the, 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 the facts are. Uh, it, that That's just how I'm wired. I'm not wired to, oh, someone said something, so that must be true, and I'll believe them automatically. No, I just, I, I'm not wired that way. Um, so that's the first type, and they, 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 unfortunately, they don't know what they're talking about, and they're, they're not really educating themselves about it. They're in echo chambers. A lot of people are, not just them, but for like me, most of the issues today, people just are in echo chambers. They won't hear anything that counters what they believe. Uh, you know, why, why, why grow and, and, and learn something? You don't need to do that today. Um, the second group, I think, is the much more dangerous group. Um, and it is uh, well-educated, women that uh, keep pushing this narrative forward, except these women should know better. These, these are the types of women that if you bring a, a study out, they will try to tear it to shreds to, 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 abs to, to just negate your facts. And yet they haven't even looked at the study that they're talking, they're, they're quoting. Give me a break. I think they know exactly what they're doing. I think most of them do. Um, but it fits an interesting narrative, doesn't it? And this narrative is the, the idea that women have been dominated by men and kept, kept down and oppressed by men uh, for all of time, uh, which isn't true. We'll get there, don't worry. It isn't true. And it's, it's just part of that continuing narrative. Um, I, I, I don't think these women are that ignorant that they still believe it. I think it just helps their narrative along that, that, that men are oppressing women. And so they'd rather lie to people in order to push that narrative than actually admit, well, no, things aren't as bad as, we, as, as they could be. But eh, that's just my opinion. I mean, all the facts uh, 
kind of push towards that that point of view but you know whatever but if that's if that's all you need to see in this video there you go you're welcome uh if you think that the wage gap still exists uh stick around let's talk about it this is where all the cutoff will be at the views <laughs> all right but let's talk let, let, let's talk about the history of the wage gap um or the idea of the wage gap uh it, this was originally um kind of originally came into society in the 70s the study was done in the 70s um so it was introduced in the 70s this idea of the wage gap and it was almost immediately debunked and then for whatever reason it came back in the 1980s and it was immediately debunked uh, and then it came back in the 1990s and it was immediately debunked uh, then it came back in the 2000s and was immediately debunked can you see where i'm going with this and then it came back in the 2010s and uh, oh look at that immediately debunked and now we're in the 2020s still talking about it it's amazing it, it's absolutely amazing and this entire narrative relies on one badly done study that's it that's all the evidence they have for this is one really badly done study and that study concluded that well depending on the country um women make approximately not always but approximately 80 cents to the man's dollar in wages um uh, companies are paying them less uh but how did they get to that conclusion and this is why the study is very very flawed by the way uh they took the sum of all men's wages and averaged them and then they took the sum of all women's ages oh wages excuse me and averaged them and the men's wages were higher overall and so they deduced that men's were higher so women were being paid less uh, but there's two major flaws um, with this study uh, the first is that they didn't try to account for the difference in pay other than to assume and in assume incorrectly that companies are paying men a higher wage than they're paying the women and the the second flaw is that comparing all women to all men is like comparing steak to broccoli um they're both food you can eat both of them but how do you compare after that i mean it, it it's it's impossible with with any sort of validity um now a much more accurate look at whether the uh, the pay gap exists or not is to take a man who works a very specific type of job and a woman who works the same specific type of job and both of them have to have a couple things uh, roughly similar uh, things like uh, hours worked things like education level things like work experience and and, and the list goes on and if all things are equal and you've got a man and a woman and they're both equal then look at how much each are making and then see if there's a pay gap that's comparing apples to apples versus steak to broccoli um and actually when you do compare apples to apples the the, the so-called pay gap disappears completely um and we've seen this recently with uh major tech companies like google that have actually uh looked at their the wages that they're paying their men and the women and uh using the google example they actually found that women are being pe paid a couple cents more uh for the same job than men um you don't hear men complaining about that there's a there's a pay gap against the men we need to change no because we don't care that much we we, we don't care a couple cents no, either way doesn't really matter all that much um however so the pay gap doesn't actually exist um but there is an earnings gap uh men make more money than women do why is that um do you remember the introduction you maybe you didn't see it but the the introductory video the it's like a two minute video two and a half minute video something like that uh where i said that everything in men and women's issues that i'm going to be talking about can come down to four words personal accountability and responsibility those four words mm -hmm. uh, women generally make less than men because of choices women make um, 
now they don't in because of those in because of those choices they make less um, however not all women do uh, I there are some women out there that are making much much more than men and I'm actually going to talk about that a little bit later on uh, but it does mainly come down to choices as to th how much you, you're getting paid. Um, uh, one way this, uh, one choice that affects this significantly is uh, education choices. 60% uh, of uh, university uh, graduates who have gotten their degrees are women, um, but they tend to be degrees in A lot, a, a lot of them get degrees that uh, generally won't pay as much money when they enter that job field for that degree. Um, a lot of women go for, like, for instance, social science degrees, uh, whereas uh, men tend to stick more to the STEM degrees. Uh, STEM just means science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Um, or they don't get a university degree and they go into a trade. Um, those jobs pay more for multiple reasons uh, than jobs you'll generally get with a social science degree. Um, on top of that, when men and women are in the workforce, uh, men t tend to work longer hours every week than women do. Uh, on average, men work 44 hours a week, and on average, women work 40 hours a week. Now. That doesn't mean that the company is paying them less per hour. That just means that the men are working longer, therefore making more. Uh, so I'll, I'll give you this example. Let's say in this theoretical world, everyone works for a dollar an hour. Well, if men work 44 hours each week, they get paid $44. And if women work 40 hours a week, they get paid 40. That means the men are, are earning more than the women are, but it's not the company's choice to pay men more. It's because the men worked more. That's a choice. And by the way, um, I know there are people out there that are like, well, what about, you know, there's a lot of what abouts and what ifs in this, in, in this uh, whole topic. There, there's 50,000 different examples that people try to throw out there to, to say, well, this crazy one example that only happens once ever in a lifetime defeats your whole argument. Well, no, it doesn't. Uh, no, the exception proves the rule, not disproves it. But anyway, there are men out there who make a lot of money, who make a significant amount of money. Some women do this too, although it's a lot rarer for women. These men are willing to work 80 to 100 hours a week or more to make their money. Far fewer women are willing to do that. If you are a woman watching this video, good for you. But if you are, are you willing to work 80 to 100 hours a week to make a, a, a huge sum of money? Probably not. Um, I I'm not someone who could do that um, either. That amount of that amount of work per week. I I'm just not. I'm just not that per type of person. That doesn't mean that their 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 wage is higher because of that. That means they're working for their money. They're they're earning the amount they're being paid. Um, so on top of the hours worked, uh, type of jobs that women and men go into are very very different as well. Uh, women tend to go into jobs that. Um, uh, deal with people. Uh, so for instance, counseling, teaching, doctors, nurses, social workers, etc. Um, and those jobs tend to pay less uh, than what the men choose to do, which are um, jobs that deal with things. It's just one of those things that is different between men and women. Women are more nurturing. Uh, men like to play with their toys. Uh, it's a very basic uh, understanding of this whole thing, but it's kind of true. Um, but uh, yeah, so men tend to stick more into jobs that have to do with STEM, as I've said before, so science, technology, engineering, and math, or they go into like trades, that type of thing. Um, 
and those STEM jobs, by the way, also are much more scalable, meaning you can easily grow them bigger and bigger and bigger as, as, you, as you are able to, and that makes more money each time you scale them as well. So it's, it, it, it's very hard if you're like, for instance, a, a social worker to scale that because we're, we're like, how are you going to make more? But if you're like an, an owner of a, a, a technology business, well, I can work on a new technology or I can make a bigger factory and build more to, of that technology. Um, now, I will say this for women. Women tend to have a much healthier uh, work-life balance than men do. Uh, women tend to ju choose jobs that are either flexible or have fewer hours overall than men. Uh, and they do things outside of work, uh, whether that be look after their family or just some relax, uh, rest and relaxation, uh, go out with friends, that type of thing. Men tend to be much more likely just to work ourselves into the grave. Uh, if, if I'm being honest, it's, it's, it's one flaw I find in men. Uh, we tend to like push for work. Now, we're told that our value is, is, is based on how much we can earn and how much we have. So, of course, we're going to want to do that. But it, 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 it can add a significant amount of uh, stress and, and it can wear down our bodies a lot sooner. Uh, but it's another reason why men make more money. We, we worry about the job. We don't worry about the other stuff. Um, an example of this, uh, men tend to be more likely to take overtime uh, if they're asked to work than women. Uh, and on the same uh, type of uh, example, uh, women take a lot more time off from work. Now. Some of that can be for maternity leave, but if you remove maternity leave and just look at people who are taking more sick time and more vacation, women still take significantly more time off than men do. Um, and uh, what's interesting is a lot of women who have high paying jobs, let's like say they're uh, in their early 30s, um, I've, I've heard a couple of examples of female lawyers who uh, worked in high power uh, law offices uh, they kind of get to a point in their mid-30s usually um, and they realize their career isn't as important to them as they thought it would be and what they really want is they really want to have a family uh, and these women will walk away just walk away quit and and, and exit the, the career uh, and exit the workforce and uh, They'll just, they'll just walk from whatever job they have. Uh, and there actually have been examples of uh, jobs that are like, no, we'd really like to keep you here. We'll give you a, a significant raise, better benefits. And the women are just like, nah, I'm out. Um, men aren't going to make that choice. If you're offering us way more to stay, yeah, we'll stay and we'll do that. Um, I mean, men don't have to worry about taking time off for raising kids. Uh, that is one thing uh, that we don't have to deal with, it does admittedly give us a slight advantage in the job market uh, because whatever time a woman takes off for raising her kids, um, that's experience she could be on the job. Uh, unfortunately, there's not really any way to counter that. Uh, men, you know, can't generally have children. Uh, oh, don't even get me into that argument right now. I'll deal with that in its own topic l later on. but. The world we live in. Anyway, uh, so yeah, they just they just uh, they just walk away. And actually, incidentally, women who choose not to have a family uh, and just work on their career tend to out earn men of the same age group. Uh, and it can be by a lot, actually, believe it or not. Um, and 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 so they out earn men through basically their entire lifetime. Uh, and it's you know. They, they just choose not to have kids and they just keep, they stay in the workforce and they tend to be able to climb that ladder of success. Um, now, I know this is anecdotal, uh, which is the worst type of evidence, uh, uh, if you're not aware. Uh, this is why I, I kind of chuckle when like people are arguing things like the wage gap and they're like, well, I know this one person that, yeah, but that's anecdotal and that doesn't mean much. 
Uh, plus, you know, one person isn't going to isn't going to skew the the statistics much. But um, so take this with a grain of salt, but 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 understand that it's fairly true. Um, basically, almost every man I know or have ever known never wants to take time off work. Um, Pre-COVID, that would mean they would go in sick. Uh, and on top of that, each and every one of them uh, was that that was like that, where they're like, "Oh no, I just keep working. I don't, I don't, I don't need extra time. I'm good. I'll just keep working." Every single one of them was forced eventually by whatever company they worked for uh, to take time off because they had amassed too many vacation days o over X amount of time, and the company was like. Nope, you got to take some time. Uh, that's the only way they're going to take time off. Uh, so on top of that, uh, men are more likely to move to a well-paying job, uh, whereas women tend to want to stay wherever they are. Um, this means that they'll sacrifice uh, a better-paying job for a lower-paying uh, one, uh, just to just to stay where they're comfortable. Men are much more likely to move. Um, men are more likely to work dangerous, hard, physical, outside jobs. Uh, all of those things you get paid more for. Um, and just as an example, you know, like women aren't rushing to become bricklayers. 99.9% .9 of all bricklayers are men. Um, and yet they would make a great salary if they did it. On top of that, um, they would they would also immediately be hired because uh, we want diversity in companies and so even if they're not better than a man at the job they would be hired over the man usually um, because of our things like affirmative action um, and don't there are a lot of people that would argue well you know women can't get these types of jobs that's not true that's that's just not true right now uh, at least here where I am in in Canada, uh, I don't know if it's the same in the States or not, but basically if a woman wants to learn a trade, they can get a grant from the government that'll pay for your, tr for your training for free, and again, most companies will hire you immediately after your training is finished because of diversity and affirmative, uh, and affirmative hiring. Um, so what's your excuse um could it be that you don't want a, a hard physical job outdoors you know laying bricks could that be why could it be the choice you're making versus you not being able to get there uh, i mean you could learn to be a plumber you could learn to be an electrician they make great money um but you don't want to work that hard and and that's that's something that a lot of uh, a lot of women it 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 I don't want to say they don't want to work hard, but they don't want to work a specific type of hard. And usually physically, they don't want to work too hard because um, other jobs are hard too. Don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm well aware. But um, physically, they tend not to want to do a more strenuous job. Uh, but just, just to play a little game here, uh, I have a job for you if, if you're a woman, and I'm going to offer this job to you. Um, this job has a hundred thousand dollar starting salary uh, and it significantly increases if you stay there over the years you need absolutely no experience to do this job and they will hire women immediately for it um, it's a little heavy on the labor but anyone can do it now the catch is that it's, um, well, if you're American, it's Alaskan oil dr uh, drilling, or if you're Canadian, it's uh, Arctic oil dr drilling. And uh, so you'd have, to, you'd have to move. It is in the cold, um, but you can very easily make a hundred grand a year. And then it just goes up from there. Uh, I believe full benefits as well. Uh, and uh, so, so why aren't you doing that job? You give them their, your resume and you're hired, essentially. I mean, they have to do an interview, but you're hired if you're a woman. So why aren't you going and doing that job? 
Is it because you don't want to work that hard? Is it because you don't want to move? Is it because you don't want to work in the cold? Is it because there's heavy stuff that you don't want to deal with? Like, those are all choices you're making. But that's a six-figure job. That's a six-figure job a year. Um, again, personal choices, personal responsibility, personal accountability. Um, have your jobs pay more they just do dangerous jobs pay more they just do well it makes sense if you could likely hurt yourself on the job you should be compensated for that but you know it must be that employers are are, are taking advantage of these poor women um, next uh, women have a character trait uh, well, both men and women have this character trait. It's 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 called agreeableness. Uh, men tend to be less agreeable. Women tend to be more agreeable. Um, how does this look at a job? Well, um, women, uh, when it comes to raises, when it comes to salary negotiation, tend not to like to rock the boat. They, they don't want their boss to think they're a horrible person. They don't want anyone to judge them negatively because they're asking for a raise. 60% uh, of women, incidentally, have never asked for a raise in any job they've ever had. 60%. Um, I don't know the number for men, but it's way less than that. Guaranteed, it's way less than that. Um, and, and by the way, for, for those women who are afraid that their boss isn't going to like them, because uh, they ask for a raise. If, if, you, if you work under a good boss, uh, a good boss would never think less of you for this. It's part of business. It's, it's, it happens all the time. It's, it's not personal. Um, but uh, so I have an example here of, uh, um, it, it, it's not a real world example, but it's just an example to show the type of difference in agreeableness between men and women. Um, all these numbers are fictitious, but it's, it, it just kind of shows this point. Okay. Uh, I don't know if you know this or not, but at some point during an interview, especially if it's a salaried job, um, there's, a, there's a point where you can negotiate the contract. Um, the amount they're offering is not a set amount, especially for salaried. Obviously, if it's minimum wage, it's a set amount. But if it's a salaried amount, you can negotiate. Um, men tend to negotiate a lot more than women. Again, they're less agreeable. They don't really care. Men also, just in general, tend to know their value better, how much they're worth. Um, and so if, if they don't get that amount, they're way more willing to walk and find a, a job that's going to pay them that amount than women are. Women, again, they don't want to rock the boat. So two... two uh, Two people, one man, one woman, uh, are hired for the exact same job. Um, the, the, the company comes to them and says, um, we think the salary should be this for a year, let's say, let's make it an easy number. We think the salary should be 10,000 uh, a year. Uh, obviously, that's just an example, uh, easy to comprehend. Um, the, the man thinks, hmm, 10,000 is a little low. I've done this work before. I, I, I know I'm, uh, I'm going to be a great fit here. I, I know what I can bring to the table. Uh, and he thinks, yeah, no, I'm not going to do it for 10. And so he, he does them. I, I appreciate that offer, but I think I, I'd be more comfortable working at, let's say, 20. Um, the woman has the exact same thoughts as the man. I've, I've worked this type of job before. I know exactly what I'm doing. Uh, I'd be a great help to the company. But they think, yeah, but I, I don't want to cause problems before I even start here. Like, I, I just, I, I don't want them to think I'm a bad person for asking for more money. And so they don't want to make those waves. And they just, you know, sign the contract, 10000 no problem. Uh, the company comes back to the man and says, well, we can't, we can't do 20,000, 20,000 too high, but we'll give you 15. The man thinks, well, that might be still a little low, but it's much better than the 10. And you know what? I think I'll go for it. 
and he can make that choice. And uh, men are just as likely, by the way, to walk away from a bad deal uh, when it comes to their salary uh, than they are to take it. They're they're if if a if a man believes he's worth X amount of money a year, uh, and you're not paying him that, he will walk away, um, and he'll find someone who will pay it. Um, there are some deluded men out there who think they're worth more, but on a, generally speaking, I would say men tend to fairly uh, know fairly well uh, their value. Um, but so immediately at the start of this job, that man is making more money than that woman. Is that because the business refused to pay the woman that amount, or is that because the woman didn't ask the business to pay her that amount? I'm, I'm sure if she said 20, the business would have come and said 15 too. Um, but she didn't. She didn't want to rock waves. Okay. Fast forward a year. They've both been working for a year at this company. They've had great performance reviews. Uh, performance evaluations were always phenomenal. Uh, the man goes to, to his boss. Hey boss, it's been a year. I've been a great asset to this company. This is what I've done to make you money. This is, you know, this is, this is, this. I'd really like to stay here, but I think uh, I'm worth a little bit more than what I'm being paid. Um, what, could I, can I get a raise? Boss says, okay, we'll get back to you. Go to the woman. She's like, well, I know I've done a lot for this company. I know I, you know, I've done, I've, I've made them some money. I don't think ten is enough, but oh, I don't want, I don't want my boss to hate me for asking him. I don't want, I don't want them to think I'm greedy. And so she chooses not to ask for a raise at all. Again, sixty percent of women have never asked for a raise in their life. Um, boss comes back to the man and says, "Yes, we'll give you." Uh, We'll give you another $1,000 raise. Again, these aren't real numbers. They're just to, to do as an example. That man is now making 6000 more a year than that woman is. Is that because the company is refusing to pay her that amount? Or is that because she's not asking to be paid that amount? Again, personal accounts, accountability and responsibility. Um, on top of this, by the way, well, this, this, this here closes this debate, period. Uh, there are laws in Canada and the U.S. that prohibit uh, paying a woman less than a man for the same job. Uh, now, that being said, it's very hard to, to define exactly what the same job is. Um, and it's a little bit of gray area in the law. However, if you do believe that you are being paid less than a man, for the same job at the same company, uh, I suggest you make a complaint to the proper authorities, whichever proper authorities those are. Um, I, I can't tell you what they are for you. You probably live in a different place than I do. Um, but go to the proper authorities, make that complaint, they'll investigate and they will decide, are you, be, are you being paid less, are you not? Um, at which point, if you are, you have you have certain things you can do. You can potentially sue the company for um, for that difference. You can there's there's a bunch of a bunch of things that can happen. The government might step in and actually fine them. Uh, there's there's a list of things that can happen. Uh, but on top of this, uh, let's do a thought experiment here, right? Let's say I own a business and you own a business. Businesses are amoral, meaning that really they don't have any morality other than I've got to try to make uh, as much profit as possible for my shareholders or for the owner or whoever owns the, uh, owns the business. So if you own a business and you can legally, which you can't, but let's say you could legally pay women less than you could men for the same work, for the same job. I don't know about you, but if I'm, if I'm just trying to make a profit, why would I hire a man? The, the, the whole entire job market should be covered by women because companies would only hire women. They're, they would be making, they would be saving 20 cents an hour for every hour worked if they just hired women, if that were the case and the pay gap actually existed. It doesn't, it's illegal to do, but 
in this scenario, if it wasn't, I wouldn't hire a man. Why would I? I would just make that extra money and, and turn it into profit for me. That's the whole point of a business is to make money. So that's that's that. It's debunked. Guys, It's there's. I could go into more. Those are just like some of examples of the main reasons why. It all comes down to choice. It, 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 not everything, I should say, but most of the, the earnings gap, it's not a pay gap. Uh, it's not the company saying we're paying women less. It's how much you're earning based on choices you've made. Uh, again, personal accountability and responsibility. Um, and there's there's really no excuse at this point. If you're if you're anyone like my age, I'm uh, I'm now 36. Uh, just had my birthday, by the way. Um, but if you're let's say you're 40 and younger, there's no excuse. There's no job as a woman you can't get into. And actually, nowadays women have a higher advantage because companies will hire them over more capable men because they're a woman. Now, to me, that's sexist. But it is what it is. That's that's affirmative action for you. Um, I believe in meritocracy, by the way. I believe whoever's the best for the job should get the job. But that's that's a story for a different day. Um, now, before I go, I do I do want to say that uh, I want to touch on women's sports because this is kind of a hot topic issue. Um, FIFA, women's FIFA just finished not too long ago. Uh, I, I told people I know uh, just before it started, just wait. As soon as the as soon as the first soccer ball drops, they're going to talk about how men, how women should be paid more than they are. Now I I looked into this, and you should look at these numbers for yourself too. Uh, women for the FIFA tournament, women who competed, uh, all told, were paid 20% of the revenue made from that term tournament. Men were only paid 2% of what they made from that ter- from their tournament. Who's getting who, who's getting the raw end of this deal? Uh, women brought in I forget how many millions of dollars. Men brought in like five billion. Uh, the WNBA is the only business never to make a profit and still exist on the earth. Uh, it's subsidized by the NBA. Uh, basically, the NBA takes a chunk of their revenue and just gives it to the WNBA every year. Um, and so, you know, all those WNBA players, oh, they could play as well as the men. Well, I, I, I don't think so. I'm, I'm, I'm going to talk about that in a different video um, about men and women in sports. Uh, oh, that's a, that's, a, that's a subject in and of itself these days, apparently. Um, I... I think that a very skilled woman could beat an average man. I don't think that a very skilled woman is likely to beat a very skilled man. Um, but that's just my opinion. I'll go into them more nuanced later on that issue. Um, but how can they make more money? Well, here, here's a question for, for, for maybe the, the women out there, right? How many WNBA events did you go to? How, how many did you watch? See, men have men's sports. We, we like to see men competing. We don't necessarily want to see women competing as much as, as we want to see men. Um, women tend to want to watch men's sports too, I, for whatever reason. You have your reasons. But you could watch the women's sports. Um, you, you could go to their games, you could help. If, if, if women went to and watched and, and went to more women's sports, the women would get paid more because usually they get paid based on how much the, the league is making. Uh, so if, if, if women started going, if women started paying to see them, they would get paid more. So what's stopping you? Just saying. Um, yeah, so uh, that's it uh, for this one. Uh, like I said earlier, I may be releasing three videos this week. One's going to be a bonus video. Um, I have two more topics I want to discuss, but those could get very lengthy. Uh, and if it's too long, I'm just going to cut it into two and I'll give you an extra video. So that'll be a surprise. Uh, if that's the case, uh, my next release will be on Wednesday. 
good timing. I just got a text from someone. Uh, and uh, then a, another one on Friday. So I'll see you in the next one whenever that may be. Bye-bye.